Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Avant 3 server, hanging out here with Relic. Hey everyone, how's it going? Yay! And we're gonna hear, we're, we're gonna hear, we are here to do a tour of Relic's fantastic spot and uh, show off all the goodness here. Yeah, that is the, that's the plan. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna enjoy it, you know, I hope everybody else does, but I will. So, so we're right here at your beginning house here. Yeah, this was where, this is where it all started, back on a, a rainy night four months ago. <laughs> Well, I don't know yep. if it was raining, but it doesn't rain anymore on the server. Well, it's 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 more of a sprinkle than a rain. <laughs> Indeed, bit of a uh, bit of toddy magic. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. I I am loving that. Or you know, all of a sudden you get one bit of thunder and then it's gone. And, so and no no dark. Nope, no dark. So so tell us about uh, the the building here because I I love wood and stone. That's my go to building material. Wood and stone. I think well for for the sake of this building uh i'd already done a lot of sort of modern building on on other servers and i tried my hand at a few sort of medieval type builds in sort of single player worlds so i just wanted to try something different i didn't really have a goal at the time and so it just sort of evolved there was no there was no real plan and it just sort of turned out this way. <laughs> that, uh... that works. I, I have to admit, your chiseled windows are fantastic looking. Those are so nice. Yeah, they were kind of uh, a late addition as I as I sort of got further into the into the pack. I think I was probably one of the last people on the server to sort of really get into chiseling bits. To be honest, and nah, uh... I'm just barely getting into it. <laughs> so. And... And I can quit any time. I'm not addicted oh, yet. Unfortunately, Chisel and Bits has taken my soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So show me what we got inside. Uh, I, I do okay. like the, the little logo here. That's always nice. The old FTOG logo. Mm -hmm. A bit more Chisel yep. and Bits. Yep, I yep, actually yep. copied that from uh, from the design that we've got in Spawn. Yep, yep. So Thor, Thor did those. Are... Yeah, on the, the, yeah. the path. So I just kind of copied the I copied the design and uh, embedded it into some wood. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so inside it's a it's a little bit sparse on this floor. I have got plans to to actually do a little bit more chiseling bits at some point in here. I quite mm -hmm. like a because this is kind of like the office for yes. all of the plant and that that's going on. So when you report to site, you you'll come across the bridge and you'll come into the office so there'll be like a desk or something over this side mm -hmm. but for now it's pretty empty i've still got my original my original bed here yep bit of an in inappropriate place for a bed but it's there it works it works <laughs> and uh, obviously we've got uh, mg rose's uh, little little warning i think Link <laughs> has got had the same thing yes yes uh yeah. so that's what you get for for doing pink at her place Indeed, indeed. Rose does not <laughs> like Link. <laughs> How did I let Link talk me into that? Uh, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't always be listening to, to Link. Nope. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is um, this is pretty much uh, what I started with, just to uh, just to keep the zombies and the creepers away. Mm-hmm. And yep. a little bit of a uh, little bit of storage. I've got my GP. Um, resonator my sorry my ender utility extra utilities resonator and that over here but not a lot else all righty uh, so up or down i'll go up first of all and i've got little signs now to uh to sort of show what we've got mm -hmm. and we have a singular purpose for this upstairs so far and that is all my storage oh yeah is in but I really, really need to do something about that pretty soon. I'm, I'm hoping to move on to some refined storage, which uh, yeah. I've been watching. I've been watching your episodes on that. And, I, uh, I I'm really enjoying the refined storage. I I I more so I think the the being able to have remote uh, access to my stuff because I'll just spawn up a a network receiver transceiver pair and 
then I've got access to everything wherever I'm building. I love that. Yeah, you've kind of got me thinking that I really, really need to have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I, I don't have that that remote access anywhere to my stuff sort of thing. And I, I built the, the wireless access to it and I could use it at my base and I never do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've got the um, I've got the storage module tablet, mm -hmm. which is uh, linked to the scanner. But I don't know for, for me. I absolutely love RF tools, as I think probably most people on this server do. It is an absolutely fantastic mod. It's mm -hmm. probably in my top three of favorite mods in the pack, to be honest. But I do find myself thinking, you know, as I start to build stuff up, particularly, you know, once you start getting your Digiminer run in and you, you've got, you know, the, the Void Miners run in, you can use space up really, really quickly. And I could just see a whole room of these modular storages, which I don't really want. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got an attic space. Yeah, there's there's actually nothing in here as yet. And uh, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest, whether there will ever be anything in here. I, I'm a great fan of just sort of hollowed out roofs. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. really like to sort of fill them in because I like to have the option if I oh, can. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I did, I did actually keep all my villagers prisoner uh, up here. <laughs> and uh, I think I liberated a couple of them to your base at one point in time. Ah, <laughs> and, so that's uh, where they came from. <laughs> one or two maybe one or two but, yeah um, uh, carry on oh i was just i was just thinking you know it, it needs either some boxes up here or some cobwebs or you know the, the standard stuff that, yeah. that you get in 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 an attic yeah it does i've been quite lazy i've been quite lazy <laughs> yep so yeah. down two yeah down two so yeah, yeah this is obviously this was my center of operations for a fair amount of time so i've got the rest of my my rf uh, storage stuff in mm -hmm. here and the remote storages i'm not i'm not really using those to be honest anymore it's all about the storage scanner once you've yeah. discovered that you never go back yeah and uh, and you've you've got the storage drawers going on i i really do love this mod and i love how oh you you've got your controller everything goes in it's yeah, fantastic it's fantastic it is fantastic it's uh even even with you know stuff like refined storage there is always going to be a space you know for storage drawers there just mm -hmm. always will be so versatile yep. Yep, and and I really love the the void feature. So you know, if if I'm running crops for like crazy and I don't need you know these resource seeds or whatever, I can just put a void upgrade on there. And so I've got stacks and stacks and stacks, but it's not overflowing into the rest of my my system. <laughs> and and once again, you've hit upon my weakness, which is extreme laziness. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so. I've done a few I've done a few space upgrades on them but no void upgrades as yet but I keep yep. thinking about it <laughs> yep yep well well you just think about it that's that's half the work right there is just thinking about it <laughs> yeah I do a lot of thinking <laughs> <laughs> so that's good yeah and then I've got yep you got yeah. your setup here cool yeah so I did this quite early on because uh partly I, I absolutely love actually additions I think for uh for a sort of a, a new a new mod to get into because at 110 was the first time I'd, I'd ever got into it as probably 90% mm -hmm. of people. Um, yep. It's just it's just so good. The things the things that you can do with it uh, are absolutely great. And and this is fully automated to to the point that all you have to do is pop the materials in this uh, chest down here, and then we've just got some uh, some Ender IO pipes underneath. The only okay. thing that I haven't done is is made it so that you can put in whatever and it works out the recipe that you're that you're trying to use. Uh, you you actually have to go and change the filters. Because because I was bad and I just put the apple and plum that I'd been grabbing with my magnet in there and it just went away. So I don't know <laughs> where that's gone to. Uh, they, so they have uh, if you pull this uh, really high tech lever and then drop down and. Uh, yeah, ah, they're the, they're in there. 
one of the few times that I've uh, actually hidden all of my pipes. <laughs> yep. So, yep. Yeah. I, I love doing that. <laughs> I love hiding. Yeah. You know, people don't see what I can. I, I like to hide uh, my, my pipes and, and whatnot. Indeed. And, and then these, uh, this wall, this block uh, on mm -hmm. here was uh, one of the first things that I got from Mistaken's block shop, actually. I was oh. really, really pleased. As, a, uh, as I've pr oh, I was just saying, it says it's a quartz. lovely lavender color. It's a lovely, it's like nether quartz, but it's that got that nice little tinge of lavender. Yeah, I absolutely love it. But that, yeah. that I've probably said before, but this is kind of like one of the reasons why I wanted to get into Britannia in the first place because some of the blocks that that you can get with Britannia just look amazing. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And I'm I'm trying to scratch and sniff, but I'm not smelling lavender here, so. But it it no, needs a little no. more work, I think. It does, it does. And he's <laughs> sending back to the factory for some more processing. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> blocks with scents, that, that would be really good. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. And obviously we've got the uh, got the uh, smeltery over here. Um, yep. I've got to say, it's more, it's more for the sake of I wanted to have a smeltery there, I think, for the one time that I mm -hmm. wanted to uh, smelt down a block. I've not really used it. Yeah. I've... Uh, it's, I love Tinker's Constructs. Oh, it's great for early game, and then you just get to the point where you're going, eh, you know, I don't think I really need that much more. I, I, I've made and, some and I, massive, huge ones, and mine here on the server is the tiniest I've ever made. Because it's a two by two and like three tall. And obviously, you know, sort of few, both our viewers will uh, obviously suggest him we've got more than two viewers, but, uh, <laughs> you know, our collective viewers will be aware if they've been watching from the beginning that uh, Tinker's Construct was actually taken out of the pack mm -hmm. for a period of time. And yep. during that time, I realized how much I enjoyed playing without it for once. Yeah. Because I always use it. Yeah, it, there's a lot of good stuff, a lot of the, the, the tools in there. And then, you know, it was forced not to have it. And so I said, okay, got to do something else, got to do something else. Indeed, but, uh, and yeah. I, I went with the actual editions drill, which I thought was absolutely amazing. Yeah, brilliant bit of kit. Yeah, I went with the all-in-one tool, and I'm trying to remember who made that and drawing a blank. That looks oh, so actually cool. editions. Indeed, indeed. Yep, yep, yep. Again, so uh, hopefully um, Alpec will be watching this video, and he'll uh, make sure that our uh, five dollars a piece is uh, forwarded. Oh, yeah. in a timely fashion oh yeah yeah because so. i i've been really enjoying the the actual editions i like the way it, it does a lot of the fun stuff and and there's more that i haven't That's touched yet thing. but i need to so indeed oh so this is uh access. restricted access so um again high tech button it works th this was just th this was just another another little let's hide all the uh all the conduits <laughs> sort of room yeah. and uh, it works yeah, try to make mm -hmm. it look a little bit industrial with some of the fans on the wall. Mm -hmm. And I like how the the lights are covered over with you know the the industrial grids. You know that's what you get in your your factory types because if if it doesn't have that grid, people are running around doing stuff and they're breaking lights, and that's a bad thing. And so you got to protect the lights. I think I was potentially the first person to uh, become a customer of Thorgal's. Uh... <laughs> sea lantern yep. shop <laughs> yep i i do like those sea lanterns they they do look very nice and and they are subtly animated which i'm wondering how well that would look to chisel and bit stuff but i can stop at any yeah. time sure indeed you can. indeed <laughs> we're not addicted not not addicted not at all <laughs> all right so yeah mechanism bits some various uh, bits and bobs of machinery yep and yep. you've got another oh yeah you're the sub basement to the blood magic area yeah should we Sure, let's well, do that. I think both our viewers have probably seen. Yeah. Oh no, you didn't. You didn't record that, did you? I didn't. So... No, but uh, everybody should be checking out your site anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I thought we did. We did such a good job together with oh, that. I was fun. really, really pleased with how that episode yeah. went. Yep. But and, yeah, yep. it's changed it's a bit since you saw it, seen it. I, I was going to say, yeah, the the adding the the stuff on the side that looks really really nice. Uh, you know, you've and, you've uh, you've got it ready for the tier six stuff whenever that uh, appears at some point. 
and uh, and obviously this block here again from from actually editions mm -hmm. yep yep, <laughs> so, yep. Yeah, make it make it full use full use oh yeah it. but I, yeah I, I love the way it looks yep uh, you haven't done any upgrades with the runes they're all blank runes they are indeed. That's for a yeah. for a future episode. I keep ah. saying again, laziness, laziness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yep. Yeah, I um, I want to get that done at some point. Yep. Because but... yep. <laughs> once you put a couple speed on there, or if you've got the well of suffering going, and, and you've got the additional uh, um, sacrifice runes in there, then you you get a lot more from the altar. It does things faster, and then you're going. That's really cool. Then you make designs with them and. Yeah, it just goes goes from there. I've got to say, doing the uh, doing the slates and that for the for the runes for the tier five mm -hmm. was uh, was somewhat of a grind <laughs> with uh, without well, any upgrades. <laughs> you still have all this cobble here for the tier six. You know, even though it's not in place yet, you know, it, yeah. the job's not yeah. done till you got the tier six <laughs> <laughs> runes in place. Un unfinished projects. What can yes. I say? <laughs> So yeah, yeah, that's the uh, that's the blood magic area. Yeah. I kept trying to go through here and just eh, just couldn't go. Eh. Yeah, the clear <laughs> glass. <laughs> that's good stuff. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, this is. Um, are you there? Oh yeah. Oh, I just went up. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's right. You've got further down. Yes, I'd yeah. forgotten that it, it goes down now. Yeah, this is actually my newest area. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've used a little bit, a little bit of chiseling bits. So uh, for the, for the viewers, we uh, we actually nipped over and Grok was showing me some of his stuff at at his base with the sort of minimalist. We're not addicted at mm -hmm. all. No. Uh, chiseling bits approach, and I've kind of used that around this door as well, just to give it a little bit of a raised mm -hmm. area. Yep, and it's nice because you get a little bit of a, a hint that it's there without you know clubbing you over the face and saying I'm chiseling bits. <laughs> But you know, exactly. it looks good. Exactly. So yeah, this is uh, this is. I'm probably the last person, uh, one of the last people on the server to have uh, to have done the void miners. But they're absolutely amazing bits of kit. I really, really like them. Oh yeah, I've and, really uh, been having fun with the environmental tech stuff. Uh, you know, the void miners, the the uh, the the nanobot uh, beacon. I I, I'm, I, I really love that. Those, yeah. yeah. That, that's that's quite soon on the list the uh, the nanobots but oh yeah, yeah the void miners <laughs> well, you've got room if you could just slap that right here in the middle and uh, you yeah. know then, then you've got your your nanobot you know monstrosity right here or i might even create a whole new room for it <laughs> that's how i roll i love having a separate room something new for for each of the the places and indeed indeed mm -hmm. i'm thinking about going down another level anyway yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see mm -hmm. how it turns out. So it's... But I've got to say, these are the uh, the I can't even say it now. The the Malesis, Malesis mm -hmm. doors. Yes, I absolutely love them. Such a good addition to the pack because they yeah. they were added sort of two or three updates ago. Yeah, yep. absolutely fantastic. You know, I haven't done any of these these extra wide high tech doors, but those are fun. They really are. I only wish they had like a swoosh sound, but they, they don't. But I, that would be that would be that would make it for me. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I think it would work really well. But uh, I'm I'm having fun on your roller coaster here. Yeah, the uh, a little addition there of us a bit of immersive engineering. Mm -hmm. And the thinking behind this has been pretty much that I've done a lot of shifting stuff around with the dimensional transceivers and um, with the with the NRO pipes and i just wanted to do something different really i mean it's it's totally inefficient but it's it looks fun. really good yeah that's <laughs> it's the thing fun. it's it's fun you know because I, I was i was noticing that it was dropping the stuff over to here and i said oh i gotta see what's what over here this is this yeah is too much fun. so so i mean i've um i kind of like turned turned off all the the processing of the the blocks while i'm not on the server just mm -hmm. purely because that it does there's a lot of blocks in the chest and oh, yeah. you know when this is full i would imagine that the entities would uh, would cause a little bit of server slowdown so i only i only sort of tend to have it when i'm on and i want stuff but uh 
but yeah, it yeah. looks pretty cool. Yep, I'm sending cool. a, a piece through. Ah. Uh. <laughs> just because, you know, it, it's fun. It, and 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 I'm enjoying more and more of these little conveyor belts. They are they're fun. Is is more than anything else, they're fun. They were fun until I forgot that I had my magnet on when it was on full. <laughs> you know, it was fully loaded one day yes. and I, I came in and uh yeah, I filled it filled up my inventory quick time. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Uh, so bait I was gonna say I was just trying to, to stay far enough back so I wasn't snagging it. <laughs> But yeah, basically, just you know, the stuff comes round here. It goes into the I routers, which are also from Immersive Engineering, and uh, these have got a series of filters on, so it just gets mm -hmm. picked up in either the alloy smelter bank or the sag mill bank, and anything that's left that I don't want to smelt or crush just gets pulled into here. Yep. And th these won't be staying once I get my refined storage network up and running then I want to use make full use of the sort of wireless thing to move stuff about. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like Hopefully. a good plan. If, of course, if there was somebody that was an expert with uh, refined storage that could show me the way, then that would be great. I, I think that would be good. Uh, you know, you'd, you'd have to ask, you know, send, send out a, a comment to everybody on the server. Hey, anybody want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. that. and yeah. obviously, yeah, go on. I was gonna say, you know, FTOG logo, gotta have that. It's it's mandatory. Yeah, and uh, I, my my all time favorite block in in any kind of Minecraft is this block, the temple block. They, I, I just, yeah, I love it. They they look Gosh. really really nice, and there's several variants on that that look really good. I, I haven't built much with them, but I love it when I see people building with it. Indeed, it does. It just—I don't know. I just love it, and it looks good in all texture packs as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I think so we've done that. this building. Let's go see your we stuff. Have. Yeah, because you got so many things here. Not born in a barn. Oh, we'll yeah, close the it, doors. You got it exactly. I've got a thing about doors. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I probably could have sprinted then. That was, again, just another example of, of extreme laziness. Eh, I haven't been sprinting either. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, these these buildings out here, if we if we sort of start with uh, with this one, because this is probably the, the quickest one to, to go through. This has wow. just got the mechanism set up in here. Mm -hmm. So this was the... As you probably already sussed immediately, this was the four times ore yep. processing. And uh, since we discovered the mal effects that Mechanism has with uh, the various processings on server TPS, I've just dumped it completely. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I was a little bit sad because, you know, it's a really interesting setup. And yeah. I, I I really do love the the challenge to to make the tier three to make the tier four uh, the tier three is easy but the 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 four x and the five x processing it's a fun challenge to get that going and you know Definitely. I I love setting them up but yeah you're you're right it's just it can just chew up the the TPS on the server something fierce when it's processing all the stuff so it, it's a shame it's a shame it is what it is. But especially when everybody on the server had it, it yes was, uh... <laughs> so yep. if we make our way round this way I, I just quickly sort of skim over the Britannia area mm -hmm. and uh, I've not really you know I kind of set this up in a couple of episodes so we started off with uh, this little setup here really and yep. basically pulling out coal from the storage inside mm -hmm. And then that's just using a, a sort of a, a a setup with a redstone torch and a and a plate over here to yep. to only drop one piece of coal on at a time for the and, ender flames. And it works great. I, I have to admit these this little setup it, it's pretty easy to set up, but yeah, it just regulates itself nicely, so that you know as whenever there's a need, it just consumes and drops another one, and and on it goes. And, and and also it fills up your uh, your mana pools at a crazy rate of knots. So much so much mana is produced from these little flowers. Yep. I really yep. love them. Yep, they're fun. So, you know, I've I tend to do more with the food ones just just because it's different from the the you know these endo flames. But uh, 
but yeah, they're they're fun. I, I I do like these guys. And then yeah, the design of this, yeah, I kind of wanted it to. Uh, I don't know really. I kind of wanted it to just look ornate, mm -hmm. but when I stand under here, all I see is big concrete waffles. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Once you've seen, once you've seen that, you can't unsee it. <laughs> well, you could put some, you know, some of the sea lanterns in there, and, and could uh, do. You know, that would give you do. some light and break that up. And uh, you it, can never have enough sea lanterns. No. Well, your ever. your idea was also to have uh, some of those uh, the the day lilies, and just to have this indeed. entire area filled with day lilies. But uh, yeah, they they go it away. Was. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I uh, I discovered it too late. <laughs> Yep. So you've got so, your living rock and living wood automation setups here. Uh, yeah. looks, looks like you've caught yourself a duck. Yeah, indeed. indeed. <laughs> that you can never have enough ducks either. Yep, that's, so, true. Uh, that's true. That's yeah. true. Got to have lots of ducks. Oh. Yep. And then, then you've got the, uh, the the big hole in the ground, carefully excavated. Yeah, that that Absolutely. was that was the <laughs> uh, what was it the uh, the automation one? Oh, just it was it, drawing a blank. Do you want me to say? Yes, yes. Go ahead, because I can't remember <laughs> it, the name of it. It was, I can never say this name, and people that watch my videos <laughs> always grow when I say it. it was the Petal Apothecary. Yes, but but there was yeah. there was something else that was going on, because the Petal Apothecary was here, but it was it was when um, we were having the, oh crud, now i got to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look it up now. We were having some big time problems with uh, with server crashings where you were linking Ender AO pipes into certain things. And it, and it just so happened that the, I think it was the Ender AO pipe into an open crate. Progressive automation. Progressive That's what it was. Automation. It was the progressive automation. And because as you upgrade yeah. the automation, it, it supports one block and then two and three and four. And I think the, the higher the, the upgrade, if, if the, the block it was using as a, as a mine or, or a harvesting block, if you had an Ender IO conduit in that block, that's what was causing us to crash. And so Thor was coming around and, and saying, okay, this area is crashing us and this area is crashing us. And, and he was just using his uh, band hammer here and just nuking out uh, chunks. And I started saying, well, you can do replacements and just put sponge in there because people come back and look at it and say, why do I have a sponge here? Well, that was replaced. Indeed. And, yeah. and I remember the amount, of, uh, the amount of time that you guys spent you know, actually going around everybody's bases and sorting out the problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was that oh, was yeah. way above the, above and beyond the call of duty. Oh yeah, <laughs> that that was that was fun. That was that was loads of fun. So <laughs> that's what you got. And um, then yeah, it was this side. I was growing all my I was growing all my water seeds from mm -hmm. the agriculture expansion to supply yep. the need within there for the buckets on the yep. automated paddle pocket three. Yep, but, yep, yep. Yeah. So yeah, when I'm less lazy, I'll replace it. <laughs> yep, yep. When when you need to to do it, well, the idea was to have it automated so you could make the 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 hundreds and hundreds of the day lilies that you're gonna or day blooms and yeah, indeed, no need now. indeed, and no need now, no yep, need. Yep, yep. <laughs> so yep, so, and you know again the little chisel and bitsy stuff going on here. Yeah, I, I, and I don't have a problem with chisel and bits. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can put it down at any time. Any time. I really do like the agricultural expansion or the magic crops or any of the the similar mods that give you resources that you grow. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah, because that way I you're think... you're not you're not always running around digging big holes in the world. You can you can grow the stuff exactly. And I think to me mining is probably you know given the game's called minecraft but mining is probably my least favorite part of the game and yeah. as much as i love say for example that you know the the digiminer and and all of those kind of bits and pieces i just love the flexibility that growing the crops gives you mm-hmm 
And so it, it is one of those things where, you know, the first little while it's it's kind of a grind getting it going. And then after a bit, you've you've gotten all the resources you need, you grow them, you've got your automated uh, setups like a farming station or or maybe you can go bananas with the uh, imaginary time block and watch it just go, you know, watch yeah, the server is, TPS go. <laughs> <laughs> which is what this little uh, additional uh, and energy conduit is here. I... I've got a, an imaginary time block which I attach to there when I need mm -hmm. stuff, but I I just take I don't even I don't even have an on off switch I just take it off when I don't when I don't need it just yeah. in case it causes any problems. Yep, yep. And and you get to the point where you don't need the stuff anymore. Exactly. Uh, and exactly. You know, I've I've in so many series I I build a world and I have massive amounts of storage and everything is stored and I've got to go out and harvest you know <laughs> chunks and chunks and chunks of stuff so that I've got more stuff and this time I'm eh you know I don't need okay. that much stuff I can grow or make or dig what I need when I need it and otherwise I don't. Indeed. So yeah. The I'm... only thing that I want to do on here really is uh, I've noticed that. Uh, yourself and a couple of other people have gone with the unbreakable hose in there yeah those and, those uh, matix work fantastic the matix yeah yep, yep, yep i need to get me i need to get me one of those <laughs> yeah yeah it's pretty easy to go and and do i love your water feature uh, everybody should have more fountains and that said i haven't built Indeed. a fountain here yet <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i just kind of had this uh this space in between and i think it was about this time when I had, I think I just had this one building over here and I had the house and I had the, the farms behind and I started to sort of get a bit of a vision of what this place was going to become. And, you know, I knew that it was slowly becoming an industrial area. So I wanted this space here not to just have a load of rubbish on it. So mm -hmm. I thought if I build a fountain on it, I won't use it as kind of like a universal dumping ground. <laughs> yep. Yep. But. Yeah. And, and, and I love looks good. and I love Prismarine. I love Prismarine. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, one of my one of my favorite blocks as well. Yep, yep. And there's so much fun stuff that you can do with this that I, I love what what you accomplished here. I it's it's fantastic looking. Thank you. Yep. We'll say hi to we'll say hi to Toddy here. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's uh, let's say hi. Oh, I've gone with a I've gone with a capital O. Here we go. That's kind of like an angry wave. Well, you, you just have a big head, you know, isn't that what you're saying? <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> so this building here, it, you're definitely going with yeah. the, the more industrial sort of thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Nope. Oh, oh, this was yeah. your GP production area here. It was, yeah. So originally where the that little sort of like brick walled off area up there, mm -hmm. there was, uh, there was a, a hill. And I had various bits and pieces there yeah and i thought it needs to be in a building so this was actually the second building that i made and yeah it was where the industrial theme sort of started really and i started mm -hmm. to put these little signs about all over the place and uh yeah i'll probably do with a lot more of these to be to be honest cool. and i know that i could definitely go better with with this area, with well, the, I, with I the love fire. your hot your your hot tub. It, uh, it's it's a <laughs> deep hot tub, is what it is. It is quite deep. It is quite deep. And uh, oh, you're on fire. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the fire should go out, but you know, ah, uh, okay, so th that's better over here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and uh, obviously the obligatory sea lanterns are in here as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And. I've got my uh, my tier two uh, solar array up here, and yep. if anything, you know, if if night time was ever reintroduced to the server, I would uh, I'd be pretty much stuffed to be honest because yeah, you know, that is it, that is it. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I, that's the thing. I I went ahead and moved my solar array over to the end because even though you don't see anything, there's obviously a huge amount of radiation going on there because it works and there's never any night or rain so it's perfect indeed and mm -hmm. um, yeah i do intend to uh to sort of move this at some point in time but i don't know i don't know where to because in my haste to make this building i actually made this an even number of blocks 
And so I wanted to recess this into the roof, but because that's even and that's uneven, yes. It look hard. So, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, I sort of I, shot yeah. myself in the foot. <laughs> yeah, I, I was building something today and I was saying, yeah, I want this to be, you know, odd. And so I changed it <laughs> and then I started pr promptly building it even. <laughs> I was going, Indeed. no, no. <laughs> Yeah. If if in doubt, go go uh, go even, uh, uneven. Yes, yes. Odds better. <laughs> yep. And uh, uh, more industrial stuff. I love the the way you've made these blast furnaces have their own chimney. That I think is fantastic looking. Yeah, and I think if you sort of look chronologically through stuff as I've as I've built them, this was around about the time that chisel and bits really started to take its hold. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we got some chimneys, and I don't really use the steel for for anything. I mean, I've got I've got some steel at my shop in Spawn, but there, there's not really a great demand for it at the moment. So no, this is, uh, uh, you don't this have is... much cobble, uh, not cobble, but the concrete left. Uh, somebody that I won't mention my name uh, took <laughs> almost all your concrete and built something that. Um, uh, it won't be shown off yet, but you've seen. Indeed. Yep, yep, yep. But you've got the nice curl here going around the arches in the windows. So, you know, again, that's looking very nice. Yeah, again, this was uh, probably looks better from the uh, from the outside because I didn't I didn't curl the inside as well. But yeah, oh, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, that was a bit of a crazy chisel and bits moment. <laughs> um, <laughs> In fact, this whole area was. I don't. I don't know. I don't really know what happened that day. I just, you know, I felt the time was right. <laughs> yep, yep. It's time to succumb, and you know, you've got the the nice little uh, system set up here. Yeah, and I've. Uh, I mean, I did the recessed trees, and I made mm -hmm. the trees round, and yeah, it took it took hours. It took absolutely hours, and there was points during this time that I thought, "What am I doing with my life?" Ah, uh, yes. But, well, I, I was yeah. very happy when I discovered that I could make patterns with the, the chisel and bits and, and then just reduplicate the patterns. And I was going, oh, this makes life so much easier. Yeah. Oh, could you imagine how long it would take if you didn't have the patterns? Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm still yes. doing this now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say, oh, nope, done. Gonna just rage quit now and not, not do it anymore. And then I've got the, uh, the chimneys up here as well. Mm-hmm. And... Yep. Uh, Obviously, you'll note the uh, the most hated thing in uh, for most modded Minecrafters. But I've yep, got a, yep. a bunch of torches up here. Yeah, but, I, uh, I love to build without them anywhere as much as I can. Yeah. But I start them off with torches around just to, to light everything up and make sure everything's non-spawnable. And then later I go back and fix it. I was yeah. intending to put some of the uh, Ender IO lights in here because this roof is... I purposefully made it thick enough so that I could hide the the light working. So I was mm. going to get one of the wireless chargers in here and mm -hmm. link it up that way. But I've not come back to this building for a while. So, um, mm. yes, that word laziness again. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Un unfinished, unfinished projects. Yep. And then uh, then we all have, you know, our, our portals to the, the mining dimension up high because of that bug where you'd be teleported down inside the ground and yeah, loads of fun indeed which i found out to my expense before i'd read the comments <laughs> yeah yeah i i it was like five or six times i i found myself going back and forth and i'd be like five or six blocks below but i i was able to pick my way out before i died but came down to like half a heart left at one point but I've, I've heard word that that's been fixed now, that that yep. is no longer a problem. Yep, not not that big of a deal. And we're going to have a uh, Mining World reset uh, last week, it's supposed to be. So, you know, it's, it, yeah. it's you know, you get to the point where you go, eh, I don't really need resources too much. But when I do, you know, I'll head over to the Mining World and grab me a whole bunch there. But I do intend to move all this. This is, uh, mm -hmm. once, we're, once I'm sure that I can put this at ground level, it'll have its own little... Yep, yep. yep, I just played with uh, doing something with the, uh, the, the, the nether portal because, you know, it, it was looking pretty ugly there in the nether. So, so <laughs> I, I look at that and I go, oh, yes, that's what I was doing today earlier. <laughs> 
indeed indeed yeah. and it looks really good so have you done the episode on that yet uh no that will come out before this will come out but uh, oh. I, I rendered that before you came online wow okay well so viewers of grok's channel you have uh you've definitely got a bit of a treat coming up because i've uh, i've seen a sneaky preview of it and it mm -hmm. looks pretty amazing i've got to say yep yeah. And then I think the last thing here is the uh, the mausoleum that uh, Rose did for you. The revenge, yeah. Be yeah. careful because there are still witches underneath there. Yeah, and but... and I don't have my my witch um, belt that stops me from getting attacked by witches. But, oh, I've they're... got I've got to say for a, for a revenge prank, the amount of effort that was put into this is is incredible yes absolutely incredible yeah this is fantastic amount of work here the it looks so wonderful and all the individual little headstones uh, it, this is yeah. you know this is rose going bananas with with chisel and bits and making the rest of us look like <laughs> amateurs indeed indeed so uh yeah so i've decided not to uh not to take it down i do eventually mm -hmm. want to take this and uh put it over on the hill opposite opposite side of the river but uh yeah not got around to it yet but i will mm -hmm. do i will do because this is just too good to to take you know oh, and get yeah. rid of yeah and i tend to keep pranks uh, around far longer than i probably should but they're fun so i i, I leave them there and it yeah. reminds me of what was but what was done definitely uh, i think since you were talking about the river we haven't shown off your bridge i think that's the the we stuff haven't. that you've been working on most recently yeah that is a that is a more recent a more recent build and uh yeah i do love my chisel and bits <laughs> it has yeah. to be said well we've got the the wall here where you bricked it and you you've got posts and stairs and all sorts of you know little tiny bits of grass growing into your 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 walkways you know the, the chisel and bits is showing up in in lots and lots more areas but this bridge oh you gotta admit this bridge is looking <laughs> sweet yeah, I, I, I've got to admit, I am very, very pleased with yeah how it's turned out. If this was another one, you know, I kind of, before I built this, as I don't know, I think probably a lot of builders do, I looked at a lot of pictures on Google of sort of different sandstone bridges, mm -hmm. but I couldn't really see, I couldn't really see anything on any one of them individually that I kind of thought, right, I'm going to copy that. So... I just took elements of, of a lot of things really so obviously the archways oh, yeah. a lot of these sandstone bridges have the archways because from an architectural point of view they add strength mm -hmm. and you know the little detail in between you see a lot of the bridges they don't just have sort of plain walls they have some kind of detail in yep and, uh, and and I like the use you've got several different things going on here, uh, you know, bricks and smaller bricks, and and the, even the little uh, you know bits hiding underneath the cover here. It, it's it it's got a nice combination of textures and surfaces and shapes, and I, I love it. Thank you, but yeah, yeah that you know I did with the different textures and that I didn't want to do it all one texture, and with sandstone unfortunately i found out pretty quickly that pretty much nothing goes with sandstone but other sandstone <laughs> yeah yeah unfortunately that's that's kind of the the, the way it works but uh, you yeah. do have the, the the tops on here and your your roadway of the the clay yeah. so, indeed you know. the, the, these are the uh this the road is flat color blocks mm -hmm. i um that was actually, do you know, I was going to go with um, with clay at one point in time, but then I had a conversation with Nonsanity, who, um, as you probably know, is an absolute great lover of uh, of the flat color blocks. And I think I think it was Non actually yep. that got it put into the pack. He did. He he asked specifically for Toriel to go ahead and add that into the pack. And yeah, I've I've gone ahead and used some of these mainly because of the the, the huge number of colors. And it's amazing. Tons and tons and tons of colors. So yeah, I just went ahead and edited the uh, the gaming center room because it was all done in gold and redstone and lapis and emerald. And people were saying it was too bright. So I, I took some of this flat colored blocks and, and updated that so it looks better. And 
And uh, we haven't shown it off yet because we, we need the <laughs> results for the Hay Games yet. And we haven't yeah. gotten the time to get together yet for that. Yeah, guys, make sure you go and check out the Hay Games video. <laughs> Oh, that was Absolutely it fantastic. was so much fun i was editing that and it took so long to edit because i was laughing so hard <laughs> going through it that i'd have to stop <laughs> and then it's like, oh, oh this is the duck over come over come over watch this thing it's just i've seen this i said well, watch it again it's it's hilarious <laughs> it yeah, funny. absolutely amazing but yeah make sure you vote grok <laughs> yes yes vote for me i mean that, no i wouldn't ever tell people to you know vote for me and obviously I'm impartial. <laughs> <laughs> Completely impartial. So I think we've gone ahead and shown off everything here. Yeah, yep. that is. There's, 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 one more, there's one more area. Oh, and, there is. Uh, Show me. There is. There is. There is indeed. So if you follow me inside, um, obviously shut the door. Well, yes, not raised in a barn. <laughs> and it is... Oh, make sure that I choose the right one because one of these is spawn and isn't the top one spawn yeah or... the top one spawn I think yeah so it's the it's the bottom left yeah it's the bottom Alrighty. left Alrighty. so this is my great hole oh um, yes yes talking about going nuts with chisel and bits <laughs> yeah I've got to back I've... up for a bit yeah Th this is where I've tried to hide my addiction far far away <laughs> far far away from my town and i felt that if i put it this far out that nobody would see it all right and... I'm, I'm gonna start here at the beginning of your pathway and just oh, kind yeah, of the path yeah just kind of just gently walk along the path and all of a sudden wham there's the beginning of the hall <laughs> as you come around the corner and you go holy cow look at that thing oh man now I've got night vision, so I can see everything clearly all the way to the, the end. It looks yeah. fantastic, but it also looks really good even without night vision. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've tried to light up the, the top, and these, these little sort of um, four-torch setups, mm -hmm. they're kind of temporary. I do, I do intend to do something else up here, but... I need to be honest. I needed it for when I did the screenshot for for one yes. of the episodes that I did because it was so dark at the top. Yeah, but, and well, you've got yeah. room here for some large candelabras or some other light treatment too. You've got all sorts which, of uh, possibilities. Yeah, which is I kind of this these uh, these archways and that are not finished yet. I wanted where the this part is where this steps up. Mm -hmm. I don't really want that to be on the inside i want there to be some sort of like a concave shape that goes up through the middle which architecturally you see a lot in this kind yep. of structure yep and that would then make you know sort of a big sort of chandelier type thing look i think a lot more natural yeah but yeah it would look <laughs> really good with that and then i love how you've got these little pillars going on and your armor stands and even yeah. your recessed planting, you know, those also all look really, really good. Yeah, you know, it's um, gratuitous. <laughs> I, but it looks good, you know. It, it doesn't have to be functional. I, I tend to go functional first and then looking good after, but uh, this looks really good. <laughs> I think this is one of the days where when I that everybody else on the server was so far ahead with their tech. I mean, I think... At, the, at that point in time, you were just uh, spotlighting the, the refined storage and Toddy was um, doing amazing things with RF tools control. Mm -hmm. uh, so I built a great hall. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks great. It, it really does. And and yeah, I, I'm i so glad that we, we, we remembered this because I was it would be a shame to, to not show off this this hall and and you just keep going down and down and down <laughs> and down <laughs> it looks great and yeah and, and the armor is obviously that's that was what I was talking about at the beginning that mm -hmm. was why why blood magic well yeah that's why yep and, and you've got I lots wanted. and lots of these yeah yeah and is that the sentient sword too no it's not that's uh, another item from actually editions Oh, okay, because it's not one that so I recognize. The, it's the dia, diamantine, diamantine sword. Ah, the diamantine crystal sword. Um, the, yes. the one that I totally didn't steal from there. Yes, looks great. 
<laughs> yeah, you, you have to mind out because I think they do come alive at some ah, point. Okay, I'm not okay. Sure. Legend I'll, says. Yeah, I'll I'll have to uh, not come here at night and uh, you know uh, avoid Indeed. them from coming alive. Yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's it. That's good. That is it. You've uh, you've seen all there is to see. Cool. I'm liking and, it. Uh, Shall we sign off you. here? Yeah, let's do that. And yep, yep. Uh, let me just get into. Uh, oh, that's the wrong way. There we go. That's the thing. Yep, yep. So Fine. yeah, we should make sure that you know check each other's perspectives out, check each other's channels. Indeed. You know, subscribe to to Relic and and give him lots of love and and likes and and chocolate cake because everybody loves chocolate cake. And what else? <laughs> uh, the obviously the five dollars is in the post. Oh yes, thank you very much. I'll I'll send you your five pounds. I don't think forget, you're coming out vote, ahead. Vote for Grok. Vote for Grok. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. Thank so you. yeah. <laughs> anyway, this has been uh, Duck the Grok. Duck the Grok Farmer. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, it's been Grok the Duck Farmer here with Relic Gaming on the FTOG Avant Three server, and Relic's got gobs of good stuff here. So be sure to check out his channel and subscribe to him because you know it's good stuff. And we were just having a blast taking a look at what he's done, and hopefully you had fun too. So thanks Indeed. for watching. I have fun. <laughs> I had fun. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See, I got the arm movements. <laughs> See, I can wave. I can wave too. I wish you could wave with both hands, actually. That would be nice. That would be pretty cool. <laughs>